And what's going on, my fan of Pizza Padres? Over here for the real deal, please. And welcome back to another Heart Stilly episode of Persona 5 The Royal, right here on the channel. So, last time we left off, uh, wasn't exactly in my calmest moment. Um, we dealt with Okumura. Granted, it took me a two hour recording session and, um, breaking a rule that I set about calling all personas from the DLC that are on a higher level than me. Speaking of which. Where are you? Okay, well. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to get rid of that because I don't want to have it in my repertoire until I'm actually a high enough level to actually be able to use it. It's just, basically, it's just a little rule I put in to, you know, stop myself from just breaking the game out right in the beginning. Alright, but uh, yeah, we took down Okumura and now we're just waiting for the change of heart to happen. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell we gave this plant for it to be healthy this long. Anyways, we're gonna just wanna talk about big homie. Okay. All we can do now is wait to see what happens. There's no point in getting impatient now. Hey, you're right. So, might as well. Let's go to Take bed. a nap. Let's go. Okay, you know you're going into the metaverse and you got the good cover on you. Mm -hmm. huh. Looks like we made a great miscalculation, inmate. Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Are you going to treat me more respectfully now? Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. We just beat a criminal. <laughs> Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> You know what I thought about? Oh wait, I'm gonna let this go by first. Uh, 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 dream again. What the hell? Well, I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. Mm -hmm. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of Mementos. <sighs> but uh, yeah, um, what I wanted to talk about was the fact that uh, by playing Persona 5 first... Okay, well, fuck. What's going on? What? Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? Now, nothing's been decided as of yet. But at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Oh, wow. Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. What? Don't get me wrong here. But personally, I think her results are impressive, but... Clearly you don't if you're saying third place isn't all that commendable. That is such bullshit. Bro, I'm getting slightly angry at that shit. What the fuck? She, that's an improvement. If the last time she flopped and this time she came back in third place, first, nigga, this is Shugen fucking Academy. You had a teacher who was a fuck, you had a teacher who was a fucking statutory rapist because they, it's not a pedophile because they're not kids, but he's a statutory rapist. He abused his fucking teammates. The principal knew about it. Like, <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but I think third place is doing great wonders for Shugen's reputation at this point, considering the fuck ton of shit that has gone on at this point. Just saying. 
I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. But she doesn't even want to represent Shujin, nor the special treatment. Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. But it's not though, because you even gave her the option earlier in the year to miss the cleanup day because of on because of her honor status. And the only re and the reason she went was because she didn't want to be treated different from nobody. Now you're treating her different from everybody once again. Just in the opposite fucking direction. This change is nothing. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. But you're putting this unreal expectation on her. Yes, it would be great to see her come at first, but coming in second or third is also good for the school's reputation. Like I said, this ain't the cleanest fucking school right now. All of the shit that's just gone down, this school has been on the map for all the wrong reasons this year. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Bullshit, you know exactly what that would do. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. No, it wasn't. I'm sorry. When your starting statement is that your honor stats will be revoked, that is not support. You are literally downplaying her. You are threatening her in a way. Sure, it may not be a threat of violence, but you're threatening her in a way to say, well, if you don't meet our expectations of coming in first place, <laughs> uh, you'll be like the rest of the basic bitches in this school. Like, that's not, that's not support. That's downputting. That's gaslighting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. If my nigga Maruki know it's bullshit, he noticed that support. You just gaslit her. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. Right, because that totally says support. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up here. That is such bullshit. Excuse me. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? Oh, it's... Yoshizawa must have dropped it. That's a charm. Shoot, she's gone. Let's return it after school. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. Maybe I left it in here. Huh? How many days I was on hand with the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this, but your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. Uh, Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, she needs to provide adequate results. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. But it's like I even said, she didn't even want the fucking special treatment! It's the fuck? This is like dangling celery over my head telling me, I got a treat for you, I got a treat for you. Bitch, I don't even fucking want the celery. You can't dangle this over my fucking head and proclaim, if we're going to keep giving this to her, then she has to give us the expectation. How are you going to dangle something over somebody's head that they don't even fucking want to begin with? She just wants to honor, she just wants to honor student st status. That's it. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. 
Oh, I'm popping off. Oh, 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 exactly. Which is why her getting third place is actually beneficial to Shugen. I get it. You want her to get first. Okay? First place will put Shugen back on the map. I get that. But at this rate, the fact that she's getting top three, period, is doing you more fucking wonders than you could ever imagine with the amount of shit that's gone on with the school at this point. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. That'll be all. Excuse me. Oh my god. just cannot understand. To be honest, I'm fed up with how happy people have been acting. Stealing hearts, social reforms, don't give me this fan of these nonsense. It's so unscientific. I mean, how can I target Big Bang Burger and Okubara Foods? They're criminals that artificially cut, uh, uh, that artificially consume flavor and enough value to fill a small universe. Are the fantasies trying to steal the galaxy of junk food from me? You. That said, here is Sukud. Perhaps you think you understand how vast the universe is, full of countless galaxies, but consider this. If we use three water balance in this if we use three water balance in the sun to visualize a certain matter size against the universe, what are the balance? Uh wait, what? If we use three water balance in the sun. People. Mm. I'm so confused. I was wrong about you. Too bad. It seems I was wrong about you. Your question was confusing me. The answer is stars. It's meant to convey the density of the star in the vastness of space. Three bees in the whole three bees in the whole of Europe also works. In other words, the universe is essentially empty. There are countless stars in the sky, but the universe is even more vast than that. Even within our own galaxy, the stars are separate. The stars are separated by a great distance, despite the sheer value of the visible. Close, but yet far. <laughs> you can say the same of our own hearts. Uh, if only you knew the places we've been. Tell me about it. Yeah, okay, I thought of my headphone for a second. And you found my good luck charm, right? Uh, can we meet up? Odaiba, in front of the stadium, where we met before. She's at the stadium? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? I'm worried about her. Me too. When we met her there last time, she did mention that she goes there when she's depressed. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. To Odaiba, right? To Odaiba. <sighs> no connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced already. I'm so useless. They do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai, and even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I want to get a parfait. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Ugh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize any of these places. What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh... I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? What's it matter anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab, it's a stadium. Hey, 
Is that... anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace she can't fight like we do we have to find her fast first we need to find a way into that huge no. thing the area is heading down past these gates the area heading down past these gates seems suspicious to me let's go joker I didn't even go a whole hang on, I gotta save. I gotta save. I got to. Also, the music here is giving me some heavy Kingdom Hearts vibes. Alright. Alright, what the how about it? Come on. Yawa is here. Can we go any further? Can we go any further in? Mm. Hey, door might be our only option. Let's go check it out. Yo. Okay, so this is the palace that they kept showing. Like, this is the, like, in the trailers, this, this is the palace that they kept showing. I didn't think y'all would just introduce it like this, though. That's, that's interesting. Because I, I really thought, looking at it, I'm like, okay, cool. This is clearly going to be some in-game palace. You know, like how it is with, um, with, um, if you play Persona 4, like how it is with, um, um, fuck, what's her name? Izanami from Persona 4. Alright, yo, this, yo, I kind of fuck with the music. Like I said, the music would be some Kingdom Hearts vibes. Like, if you was at the world that never was or something like that, that's exactly what this feels like. Well, that could be a foothold up there. Let's see if there's a way to climb. Yeah. Wait, so I got a question then. Whose palace is this? Because I don't want to... Because on one hand, I can say that it is Kasumi's palace. But on the other hand, like, I don't know. I don't... I don't I'm, yo, this is getting interesting to me. Huh. Who's there? Was that Yoshizawa? Let's move. Stay on guard, though. Huh? Why? How are you here? Who's that? Is she a cognitive being? I. It's my fault. What? Come on. You must, Kasumi. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> what? You must. She's always in trouble. Heresy. You dare to spurn our Lord's mercy. Are you all right, Yoshizawa? Are you hurt? A voice. Senpai? <laughs> Looks like that thing's ready to rumble. Accept yourself. 
Our Lord laments the foolishness birthed from your pain. What are you talking about? I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting it perks like that. Where are these voices? Her whole I'm not bothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. Getting special treatment is like, like whatever if it's deserved. But do you think she's doing that? I understand how you feel, but well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other girls are not doing us any good. <laughs> Talk about a waste of effort. I've had enough of this. Yoshizawa? You're telling me I'm not cutting it? Because if I don't know that better than anyone! Oh. Still. I don't care what anyone says about me. Will not tolerate anyone speaking ill of our dream. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's all in your best interest. Filling my life with this pressure. Demanding the results that you want. Yoshizawa? Could she be? And now you're all branding me a failure? Let me remind you who you're talking to. I am. I am. Kasumi Yoshizawa! So adamant. <laughs> that was an acceptable <laughs> consider. <laughs> You strive towards splendor. You know the risk. Well, if those really are the shoes you've chosen, then we'll dance to the end. This has got to be. Look at that! I am thou, thou art I. Accept this contract, the spell cast upon you. I request we have a rematch. This time, I'm going all in with Sandrion! Who gave this girl this fucking sauce? We'll show you the way to do this. I've been too reckless, okay? I probably just peeked the fuck out of my mic, but you got, I got to apologize because I know I've just peeked my mic numerous times, but who gave this girl this fucking sauce? Who said she could have this much? Thank you. Please do. Oh my God. Oh, she got all good. She got good shit to start with. Let's go. Alright, let's see. Since you're weak to light. Oh, wow. I'm still like, I have no words. Like, stunned, stopped. Oh, wow. Oh, you have something for this, right? Nope, that's everything else. Uh, take it off her. Oh, wow, okay. Guess I'll do it. So she's like the only one that can hit their weakness.
But this thing is fucking resilient. I give it that. No, Morgana, don't, don't bitch up. Morgana, don't bitch up on me. We're all right. Ah, because I'm burning. This isn't over. Oh, you're not getting away with this, Chief. Cool. Now you already know we gotta let finish this out. So now the beginning makes a lot more sense. If you remember in the beginning of this, when I fucking live streamed it, um, in the beginning she came in, like she already knew what was going on. And I was confused by that. Cause I was like, um, the trailers did suck, in my opinion, a such a good job at the Thor round. Because the way the trailer set it up, it looks like the next it looked like the next palace we were going to is where she would get her awakening. So I was already set on that being that point, but I all, but throughout this whole time, I was thinking to myself, why would it be at Sai's palace where her awakening would take place at? Oh, they did such a good job with that with that workaround. Oh, an impressive skill. <sighs> hey, are you all right? Anymore. Whoa, I'm quite impressed. Considering how you just awakened to your persona and all. Yo, everybody can get a shoulder shrug of persona awakening at this point. Meanwhile, when I awakened to math, I was done for. Senpai. Yeah. I knew it. By the way, why are we dressed like this now? It's a really long story. Well, of course. This has to be awfully confusing for her. We should get the hell like out of here. they found us. Time to get out of here quick. We can explain later. On the lead. Right. Oh, we're back at... Huh? My clothes changed back to normal too. So now this so now the question I ask is whose palace is it? I mean, of course it's Kasumi's palace. That that's clear, but it I don't know. The way it was set up I don't know. I, I got questions, so I don't know. This was your location before you entered the metaverse. We all just came back. Came back? Did we go somewhere? Uh, about that. Please, tell me anything you might know about what's going on. I need to know what just happened to me. I know how you feel, but what should we do? Look, let's just tell her. Better if I'll write honesty. You're right. Okay, I'll tell you everything from the beginning. Thank you. A metaverse. With palaces and personas i'm sure it's not easy to wrap your head around all of this in one go normally i wouldn't believe any of that but after seeing it all for myself but wow you're so good at explaining things mr kitty we're gonna i'll let that last part slide this time but isn't there something else that should be surprising you huh a cat's talking <laughs> there it is. Took you long enough. <laughs> I thought she was just cool with it. Like, I mean, I guess technically speaking, with all the other weird shit that's going around, a talking cat isn't exactly the first thing on my mind, you know? I am not a cat. I am Morgana. I see. You ever notice why you hear him constantly? You want to know why you hear him constantly meowing? That's why. He can talk. Well, since you seem to know a lot more about this than I do, Maybe I should call you Morgana-senpai. 
Oh, that's right. Don't you have something for her? Huh. It's an electron. You came all this way to return this? Thank you so much. You didn't seem your usual self this morning. Did something happen? Well, I didn't get a chance to tell you yet, but I got third place in the last meet. Of course I'm not happy about it, but it looks like the school is even more displeased. I was summoned to the guidance office this morning. I was warned that the school might revoke my honors status if I don't improve my results soon. It would be due to my own inability to succeed in gymnastics, so I have to say it's not an unfair consequence, but I also overheard the vice principal talking about how I'm a useless waste of effort. And I dragged Dr. Maruki into this mess too, since he was with me when I got the news. That's what really got to me. That's a tough break. So I ended up coming here. And then all of a sudden I was in that place we just left. But I'll be just fine now. I feel like whatever happened in there helped me to get over it. I'm going to realize my dream for sure. Seems like you really are on the up and up now. But then again, how did Yoshizawa end up finding a palace in the first place? It sounds like it was pure coincidence based on what she's told us. The nap, perhaps. The nap? Well, I suppose that makes the most sense. Hey, do you mind if we take a quick look at your phone? If the nav's on there, we'd be able to tell whose palace that was with the search history. Sure, it's right. Sorry, this won't do any good. What's that? The battery's dead. It's been acting up for a while now, so that could have something to do with it. Oh, really? Shouldn't you get that checked out? Well, it's not like that was a palace we've been after, so I guess it's no big deal. I think it's slightly a deal when we don't even know whose palace that is, let alone the fact that it practically just came out of nowhere. You know what I mean? We couldn't make its ruler our target unless we reached a unanimous decision anyway. That I do get, but I feel like we should still openly tell the team about this. That palace does just ex and I get it, you know, a lot of people in Japan, a lot of people in Shibuya and whatnot. This so you know it could be anybody's palace, right? At the same time though, the fact that we found that it should kinda just come out that hey, we kinda found this palace. Okay, I've been meaning to ask. Are you two part of the Phantom Thieves? Um, well, uh, we're you are, aren't you? Oh, there it is. They caught us. I knew it. Wait. That means when we were at the cafe with the Ketchisan, I basically told the Phantom Thieves themselves that I don't agree with what they're doing. Eh. Wouldn't be the first time somebody told us that to our face. <sighs> I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. But... With that out of the way, what's your call? Mm. Fuck us, honey. That's right. Considering how she did back there, don't you think she'd make a worthy addition to the Phantom Thieves? That's her own choice, though. So I'm not gonna force this. You mean you want me to join the Phantom Thieves? Once again, her choice, if she wants to. In a nutshell, yeah. You've awakened to your persona, you're aware of the existence of palaces, and from the looks of things, you've got quite the potential. If you're willing to join us, we'd be glad to have you. I see. Hmm. Yeah, throwing a lot on her. You don't have to give us an answer right now. I mean, you probably shouldn't make any decisions until you learn more about what it is we're actually doing. Thank you, but... I'm sorry. I have to turn down your offer. You know what's crazy? I've kind of seen that coming. Cool. So we'll head home for now and... Wait. What? I mean... She did tell us, however, she wasn't the biggest fan of the fan of these because of her own beliefs. I'm not saying this wasn't foreseen coming. Like, it would have been cool to have her, but it's kind of hard to operate when you got a person who doesn't really work with our beliefs. When I awakened to my, uh, persona, was it? I also realized something. I can't keep obsessing over my shortcomings in gymnastics like this. So, that's why I can't join you at the moment. 
because you need to focus on your gymnastics. Makes sense. I'm truly sorry to say no after all you've done for me. Hmm. Hmm. Good luck, you, Kazumi. Thank you. But I think I'd only cause you all more trouble if I were to join up without being totally invested in it. I mean, at least she's realistic with it. I gotta give her that much. She's being honest. It's like, yo, I'm not joining. It's not because I don't... I, it, how do I put this? I don't know. It's kind of like I'm not joining, not because I don't want to, but more so because I won't be able to truly invest into it the way you guys want me to. Of course. I won't say a word about this to anyone. Please don't. My, my head and Julie is on the line if you do. I'm glad you catch on so quickly. Well... If you ever change your mind about us, just let us know, okay? Thank you, Morgana Senpai. If that ever happens, I'll get in touch right away. Yes. I should extend the same gratitude to you as well, Senpai. I swear, one day I will repay you for helping me out in so many ways. Shall we get going? Quite a lot's happened today, but I have a feeling I'll try harder than ever before, starting tomorrow. I'm glad to hear it. Well, see you later. Well, one hell. Well, that's one hell of a uh, mm. way to get a video going. So yeah, I didn't expect that even Yoshizawa to gain a persona. We ended up saving her, but I don't think she owes us or anything. I mean... That said, she definitely be she definitely be a huge help if she joined us. Accurate, but it is what it is. Hmm. Father has begun acting a little odd lately. He has been cooped up in his study, and his voice lacks energy. It actually sounds quite similar to what Madarame went through. And Madarame started shaking heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? Oh, my apologies. I didn't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People are just a bit weird after the treasure gets stolen for- Ah. And it'd be hard not to worry about such a sudden shift. Hey, hey Tava knows all about it. Yeah, I gotta, th I gotta thank you again for helping me back then. Hmm, I feel better now that all, I feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. Also, on one hand, I was like, maybe, yeah, sorry, I was like, maybe we should tell the others about Kasumi but then on the other hand I was like probably not because some they might end up trying to recruit her and I don't I, you know I don't want to make it seem like oh well we you know I told everybody else just to try to get you here so nah well, yeah good night go to sleep <laughs> Crystal Senpai I'm sorry for messaging you so late my phone battery finally recharged, so I wanted to thank you while I could. You don't have to be so polite. It's just a decent thing to do. I just wanted to thank you for today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks. Uh, I'm sorry that thanks is all I can offer right now. I'll definitely make it up to you eventually. Don't worry about it. No, please. It's fine. I'll have my phone fixed as soon as possible. Please let Morgana, please let Morgana Senpai know as well. Anyways, I hope you have a good night. Mm. If only Yoshizawa would join the fan of these. What a shame. Eh, that's what we could do. Mm. Yeah, we shouldn't press the banner. So, how are we going to break it to the others? It might be in our best interest to not break it to the others. Everyone's comments used to be so encouraging, but now they're actually kind of frightening. This is utter, this is utter chaos. The public dislike of Okubara has grown exceptional. Has grown exceptionally. It's, uh, give me a second. Uh, shit. All right. The public dislike of Okubara has grown exceptionally as well. How are you holding up, Haru? We've been receiving anonymous threats almost every day now. That's scary. Red security is tight, so it's been okay so far. I believe things will calm down once we finish this, Haru. And what about us? Are we gonna get popular and shit again? Those are concern ourselves with that for now. I only pray that things calm down. <sighs> Guess we still have some problems. Guess we still have some other problems to hash out. 
We could do more harm than help if we brought him enough to this point. Maybe we'll just stay quiet about Yoshizawa for now. My plan is exactly. Ain't no point in bringing it up until, uh... Ain't no point in bringing it up until, uh... Shit calms down. Uh, good morning. Regarding my father, there isn't anything different about him yet. I can't help but think about a lot of things when I'm just waiting. Things like, did it go well? No need to worry. Thanks. Hearing that from you puts my mind at ease. <laughs> I guess I'll relax and look after the flower bed. I haven't been able to for a while. All right. The Phantom Thieves are amazing. Do you think the Phantom Thieves will do something about that CEO? Has he done our plans me? Come on, they are gonna murder him. Besides, I'm pretty sure the principal killed himself. No way, the fate of these sending up that was the fate of these sending up message. They got people, it's time to atone or something like that. I'd kill for that kind of power. And that's exactly why you're on the fan of these. Alright, cool. Who text me? Uh um, oh, okay, so we basically just have free time from everybody. Um, who goes? Uh, big question. Makoto, uh, I need to finish out with Yuji. Well, Yuji's like rank 8, I think. 7 or 8, it's one of the two. Uh, Confidage. Uh, let me find any Reese. Yeah, 8. Oh, uh, right. I need to close him out soon, because we are like this far, and the only Confidage I closed out is the Suri, so yeah. Um, on doesn't go up to Kemi goes up though. So let me. I could hang out with Makoto, but I kind of don't want to. So I'm gonna head to the shrine, and then we're going to. What do you want to do? Mm. Hey, hey. Head to the shrine. Um, put some oh. men in here, and then we're gonna think about my boy Ryuji. Alright. Hey, hey. <sighs> fuck. Probably would have went a bit further if I had a cherry arcana, but fuck it. Didn't even think about getting one. Hey, inmate. Ah, fuck. Yeah, I'm not I'd be like who the hell else is texting? Father was cooked up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him. Is this what normally happens? Madarame was in a similar state after we changed his heart. It'll be okay. Don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I just gotta believe it's going to work. Thank you, and sorry for asking you so many times. I'll message you again if there's some more progress. I get why Haru is worried. But let's just wait for the change of heart to go through. Accurate. Don't worry. It'll be just like it always is. Hey, hey! Alright, uh, there's a second hand shop around here. My hands are good. Alright, cool. Uh, so you know, doesn't go well. Iwa goes up. Shihaya Oya. Um, damn. Uh, we got some options. I think I'm going to go and hang up. Who's texting me? Alright. Um, do I have a hangman person? I do not, so I should probably. Um, I'm going to Shibuya. Um, uh, how the fuck did I pass it? Airsoft shop. And then I'm going to go ahead. Fuck, no, I need to. Now, I got too much shit I need to do. First things first. Fuck was that? I heard some shit. Sound like something. Just smack the fuck out of the floor. Um, actually, I might do Yara Quest. Alright, so. Damn. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get a hangman persona for the next time I meet. And then um damn, I don't have a hangman persona, do I? I'm almost certain I don't. That's crazy. Hanged, right? Uh by kind of fool. Magician, priestess, ever hero fed. Lovers, chariot. I need to grab another chariot. Uh for Ryuji. 
Archangel, Hermit, Fortune, Strength, Hang. That shit's empty like my love life. Hot fucking damn. I didn't think this game and my love life would have something in common. Um, Death. Uh, fuck. Okay, so... I'm going to... Chariot. Slime. I'm going to grab Slime for Ryuji. You wish to perform an execution. Now choose. Oh, fuck that. I just want to see this thing can create Pale Rider. I can't create you. Can't create you. No, no. Actually, I should have to be three more levels higher for the next persona that I'm willingly going to pull from the DLC. Uh, Queen Mob. Um. What path do you want? I mean, honestly, is there anything I do want? Actually, let's get back to the 40 range. Up to 44. I get heck of Tonkeries. Oh, that's a Hangman Persona. But that means Justice is going. Damn, it's always Justice. Counselor, Empress, uh... I don't need Counselor right now. And Empress is... Makoto. No, Makoto's Priestess. So who's Empress? How the fuck do I not know this shit? Um, oh, I just create some... Uh, nope, that's still Justice. Fuck that. Um, let's go with... I can't get rid of it. No, that's... Uh, that's Alright, so let's you go with this thing. You know, it's crazy. That's kind of what I look like. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Um, get... Blunt Mouth. Increase... Uh, Alright, uh... Elect skills. Don't have elect skills. You need bloodline. Wow, all of these suck ass. That's crazy. <laughs> all of these suck ass. Um, I guess this, considering the fact that you have regenerate two, um, we gonna speak some ominous words. Uh, Mediarama, obviously. Uh, Masakuna. Um, it will the a <laughs> I see. I'm just looking at that shit. I'm like, man, that shit was ass. I am hecka talker. That shit should say we, because you got three faces. The 100 hands which have emerged victorious in countless wars are now held within your mask. Please get this padlock off me. This shit's kind of heavy. <laughs> it's funny, because when I think of the hecka talkeries, I definitely don't think of that. I think this is just everybody. If you hear the phrase hecka talkeries and play God of War, you think of the one from Ascension at the start. Uh. Alright. Alright. Uh, that's all I really wanted. Also, I'm going to do their request. It is time, inmate. <sighs> so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do their request because I don't want to run that out. So, uh, yeah. What are you going to do today? Now. Yeah, I want to go to these. To the Tower of Oscars. Oh, you do. Sky Tree? <laughs> So it's named the Sky Tree, huh? That's a pretty impressive sound. That's pretty impressive sounding. It's no Tower of Babel, but still quite fire. I mean, yeah, that comic from D. I mean, yeah, that DC comic was kind of fucking fire, wasn't it? If you've never heard of Tower of Babel, the DC comic Tower of Babel, you have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Onward, inmate. Yes, the bonus of the monarch. The bonus of the moniker is quite promising. Take a step once. So, this is the present-day Tower of Babel. Incredible. It appears we underestimated the current extent of human technology. And the metal box that took us here, my ears were tortured by its sounds. I thought I would faint. But, as the trial, but as the trial for reaching this place, it was mere child's play. <laughs> oh my, what could that tiny thing in the sky be? An airplane? I truly do appear to be quite cramped inside. This is quite a view. It almost appears as if we could crush people below, like insects. Justine. Oh, Justine, look at that. How does ever? What is it? How could this happen? There's a hole in the floor. Is this some kind of trap? Mm, try standing on it. What? Are you insane? It was assuredly a trap, Caroline. Any passerby that comes too close, if that comes too close to it, is certainly doomed. 
By the way, inmates, I heard that this Tower of Babel has a path that leads even higher than where we are now, all the way to the heavens. Really? What? Is that true? Take us there immediately. Well, it never reached all the way to the heavens, but the view is still rather impressive. Yes, we can all see past the city from here, almost to the ends of the earth. However, Caroline, are you attempting to back out of this? What? Well, what do you mean by that? Why would I suddenly get scared after all I'm already coming so close? I see. Now why not go even closer and enjoy the view? Are you joking? What? Cut it out! If you want to look so badly, then go do it! I'm not about to. Hey, are those kids okay? Where are their parents? <laughs> They're just playing around. See? I got chaperoning them. Hey, inmate! Great! Now we're part of some humiliating misunderstanding all because of you. You're making such a scene, inmate! What a burden. You're the one who should feel humiliated. What a great view, though. I see how looking down from here can make a person feel like a god. Hmm. Human desire really knows no bounds, does it? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Why am I tired all of a sudden? Look. Yes, there's no wonder that their hearts grow twisted when living in a city fought it with so much desire. Well, we find the secrets of the Tower of Babel, so we'll consider this assignment complete. Here's your reward. Tower Gaja. Ukukasha. Sukukasha. Mm. You better keep up this progress, inmate. Mm. Let us return. Now, will you accompany us for our return? Alright. Can we get some Rakundas in this bitch? Some Sekundas? Uh, I'll take a Barracuda for 500, please. Morning! Today, the day Har was going to get sent off is almost here. We sent the treasure, so all we have to do is wait. Still, I wish we could do something in the meantime. Why don't we go to Mementos today? like it. Hmm? Do you have something else to do? Well, I will force you. If the president has a change of heart, maybe our reputation will go up and we'll get more requests. So, I'm gonna get the requests we currently have out of the way at least. Fuck! Right! Shit! I do have a request I need to do. God damn it! Well, shall we begin? Well then, let's begin class. We'll start with a summary of the previous lesson. Well... Um... Mr. Indu... <sighs> oh. Why am I tired? Fuck, I just... I was just full of energy no more than like 40 minutes ago. Mr. In... How the fuck do you say that? In Yui. In Yi? I don't know. Mr. In? That's what I'm calling him. I can't. Please come to the faculty... Please come to the faculty office at once. What's all this? Uh oh. I went to the faculty office. Make sure you take this time to study. What do you want to do? Um, we're going to read. Let's get this shit out the way. Hard that believes in oneself is the truth is the truth of Bushido. Mm. Alright. This year. All right, gut wow. looking pretty good. That's odd. <sighs> you could have made that announcement. At any rate, let's return to our lessons for now. Yep. Phew, that was close. Now, Kali Humpus get a good chunk of free time though. Sure did. Alright, so cool. Um, how far are we in this episode? About 54 minutes? Um... We still have shit to do on... Ryuji still doesn't go... What the f... Alright! I didn't have to carry an Arcana. Let's check it with Ryuji. Uh, I'm not really digging all this sitting around crap. Yo, what do you think about training for a bit? We gotta... We're gonna get rusted. We gotta keep ourselves active. Yeah. Go. Huh. Where are we going today? We're going somewhere fun. Sure thing. Where are we going? I think I think I'd probably pick somewhere with good food if it was up to me. Good food, huh? Let's 
go. Oh, have ramen, please. Sure. I'm pretty Let's man go. hungry. Okay. Let's get going. Whoa. What the hell? The line's even longer than line's even longer than last time. They put an ad on or something? We're gonna look like <laughs> we're gonna look like we're just going for a new fad, but my stomach's already in a ramen mood. Come on, let's get in line. Ah, super freaking good down to the last drop. This stuff's worth eating, no matter the weight. Can you totally fall for the soy sauce flavor too? In love. Right? Right? Tokyo guys are all over this stuff. You're one of us now. Anyway, thanks for asking me here today. I'm all cheered up now because of you. Come on, let's get going. There are tons of people waiting for our seats. Hey. Hey, looks like I'm giving out presents. Here, you can have mine. I'm not crazy enough about Robert to be shot at off in my room. But if I'm bomb with you, you will grow soon. Yeah. Alright. Yo, I gotta ask though, how good is your ramen? So whereas you got people lined up for that shit. Ah, you're back. Hey, it's raining outside. Any changes, horror? Nothing, unfortunately. Father is still indisposed. How are things with you? How are things with you, Haru? Has anything happened with the media? I hope you haven't been horrible. To, I hope they haven't been horrible to you. Thank you. But they show, huh. but they will surely say a great deal about my father. But I am determined to push through it. Society does not care what may be going. Society does not care what may be going on, as long as it's enough to kill the premature boredom. Then they don't even consider how the words may hurt others. I think caring about people is someone else's job. It makes me want to puke. There's nothing we can do about it, though. And everything they say about Father is true. But it's important to remember that there was so. But it's important to remember there was someone else in the shadows behind the shutdown. Until we can, until we can bring their crimes to light, this won't end. We'll find a true culprit for sure. Naturally. Yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a good victory when we expose that criminal for who he really is. As a way, we need to wait for Harvest Father to recover. I will, have, I will have plenty of time to ask him about it then. The one behind the mental shutdowns. It has to be someone dangerous. Now that we're getting closer to the truth, we need to be ready for absolutely anything. I'm with it. Hey, hey. All right, I do got fucking uh, suit armor. Anyways, uh, all right. Not a bad line of people. Kyle Kami doesn't go up. That shit's crazy. Ah, oh, but he fooled me does. Fuck, why have I have a star arcana? Find all to say I don't. I got two suns for what reason? Uh, we can go grab a star arcana. I need to go see if I got shit to sell. Actually, I could go to Kiji Josie. Nah, fuck it. Actually. Can I just call Kyle Kyle to do my laundry? That would be a lot better. Okay. Uh, one. Add another. One. Add another. One. Add another. One. Yeah, I'm calling Kyle Kyle. Fuck that. Dude. I got shit to do. Hi. Thanks for calling me. Wait, laundry? You can only call me just for the head. I mean, that'll be 5,000 yen. So, I was like, did you really call me for that? Do you want the money or not? Not like you're doing shit else. Just watch it. Just, look. I, I ain't asking you. I ain't asking you to do my taxes. I'm just saying, just watch, just watch the clothes till I get back. I'm about to do some. I'm about to go do some hood rush. I mean, I'm about to go hang out with some friends. <laughs> bro, fucking see Swab got me saying that shit now. Like every fucking time we hop on Call of Duty, he's like, bro, I'm about to go do some hood rush shit, bro. Okay, first things first, I want to see if I have anything I could sell to Iwa. Probably should check this out first. Oh, I want to shop. Okay. I don't have shit to sell. That's crazy. Nice weather like this makes me. You should be grateful. 
guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Alright. It's that time of year when schools hold their athletic meets, huh? Those starting pistols aren't ours, you know. We don't sell them here. Alright, anything else? Uh, not, really, not much else I need to Come sell. Again. I know. One last thing I need to do. Star Connor. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna, uh, do you feel me this little confidant thing? And then, uh... Wait, you guys have another request? Time out. Why the fuck do y'all have... I just thought about that. Why the fuck do y'all have another request that fucking fast? Unless it's a new... Unless it's the previous one. Oh, uh, star, star. We gotta go down a bit. Lovers, Cherry, Justice, Hermit, Fortune, Strain, Hang, Death, Temperance, Tower, Star. Is this what a fee is? Kodama! Then accept this persona. Are you finished? What? I'm gonna go it's back. Alright. And now we shall go hang out with Kasumi. Why do y'all have another request already? What are you gonna do today? Now. This is an odd feature of the city where sli where slaves are turned to be visitors. Wait, what? What'll you do? What? Later. Okay. So that's that. Alright, cool. I'm hanging out with you, Fumi. How's your availability today? Did you care for a match? I'm here at the church again today. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, what the fuck are you wearing, ma'am? Oh? You always talk to a woman. She seems troubled again. I can become closer. Alright. Go talk to her. That's right. Your next opponent will finally be a professional. My client's a big shot at approach at the Pro Shogi Players Association, so I worked really hard to set it up. That's but hmm, this is a young man a fan of yours, you feel me? No mother. He's my shogi friend. I told you about him, remember? Your shogi friend, hmm? Let me just say this. I'm not harboring any weird feelings towards Hifumi. Huh? Mother? I'm sure you're already aware, but you're not allowed to date, young lady. You start you start to attract a number of you start to attract a number of new male fans with all your photo spreads. Yes. Yes, mother. You can get fifty guys like him what's your favorites. Man. Ain't, it ain't even 40 for that. It ain't even 49 other niggas like me. That's crazy. You need to accomplish things I was never able to. Now, I'm going to work. Don't wait up for me. I understand. Sorry. I apologize. That must have been quite a shock. She really kind of. Yeah, your mother really kind of say it's 49 other niggas on this planet just like me. Huh. Uh, she's slightly scary. I was quite honest of you. Not altogether inaccurate, though. My father has it. My father is ill and unable to work, so my mother supports us. My mother used to be a local TV announcer, but she had to quit to take care of my father. My father was a pro shogi player. He's usually calm, but when he plays, you can really feel his spirit. <laughs> he never hesitated when making a move, just like a king. Just like a king. I really admired him, so I started playing shogi too. But after pouring everything he had into Shogi, he suddenly collapsed one day. In my mother's eyes, Shogi stole both her dream and her husband. And yet, she keeps, she tells me to keep playing. She wants me to achieve her dreams. I should be working to help support us. But I want to become a professional so that I can make enough money to ease the, my parents' burdens. Um... I do photo shoots and interviews hoping they'll add some money to our household income. But honestly, but it's honestly quite difficult for me. I should stop then. I don't think she's so concerned about me. But when I think about my mother, I... No one sees me as a shogi player anymore. I no longer recognize my skills. I'm not playing shogi in hopes of becoming an idol. I simply love my family and I want to support her through our troubles. <sighs> this is a good... I should be focusing on... I shouldn't be focusing on negative topics before a match. Well then, let's play. Today I'm going to be throwing a lot of offensive booze at you. 
This will teach you how to escape a disadvantaged situation. I feel like Fubi's just going to me. Rank 5. Uh, Kalk uh, Kaki Kalkoi. I'm butchering this. Kalkoi Kusi Kazuzu. Ah, uh, Kazusushi. What the fuck can I not. Kazushi. Why the fuck can I not pronounce this shit? Allows you to attempt to escape even when surrounded by enemies. Alright. Alright. Fuck. Are you ready? An aura. My right eye is twitching. Now, it's time to unleash my hidden evil eye. I'll start. Now, to a fair match. Until next time. That wasn't so bad. Let's get to your lessons next time. Oh, hello. Do you have a moment? I apologize for my mother's rude behavior earlier. She's been on edge lately. My male fans are beginning to concern her. She didn't mean to offend you at all. I hope you accept my apology in her place. Oh. No worries. Thank you. I'm sure I'll, I'll be sure to talk to her about you. Now, no doubt my lack of skill is what caused my mother to be so hypersensitive. I intend to improve my skills so that I can become an established player, but my mother, uh, uh, I didn't put my mother to ease. So let's both work hard for our goals. Goodbye for now. Hi. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. All right. I'll see you later. Cool. Um, I only got one thing to read and I've already found this place. This book is about Asakusa, right? You already know about the area, don't you? It's kind of pointless to read it now. All right. Yeah. Well, I guess we're done. Did you change your mind? Hold on. You were able to grab a seat, but not. But you're not reading. Eh. Uh, I don't feel like reading. I see. I suppose we can sit here and relax until we get there. Open to Picking up from last time, we were talking about the French Revolution. Having, huh, having executed the royal, having executed the royalty, the revolutionaries proceeded to take control to take the courts under their control. All who opposed the revolution were executed. However, the revolutionaries too were. Huh, 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 ah, however, the revolutionaries too were they were then revered were they reviled and the who then reviled at the spots had executed by the public. Many people were executed during the French Revolution. The fact that many executions were possible ha was actually due to one specific eviction. Kurosaku, take a look at this. What is the answer? This is a guillotine, a tool which is allowed for mass executions. Now, do you know who invented this instrument? Fuck! Why would you ask me that? I forgot. I know it was a doctor who originally invented it. It wasn't Louis the Fifteenth, because I'm almost certain you died. I want to say you, because I think the machine was named after you. This is it. Bang. Correct. That's correct. The tool is the tool is named after him. By the way, Charlie's Hen Charlie's Henry Sanson. Uh, Sanson. I don't even know how to pronounce pronounce that. The famous executioner. It said that he killed 2,800 people with the ab with the advent of the guillotine. It may look cruel, but it delivered a swift, painless execution, regardless of one's social status. It would be an exaggeration to say that it embodied the French spirit of, equ of equality. Nice going. Bro, you gotta think about it, bro. You on that machine? It's like... You, you're you on that machine? It's like one minute your head's on your shoulders and then the next minute you're like, damn, this ground... You're like, damn, bro, I just kind of hit the ground at mock speed. Revolution is sometimes a bloody thing. The revolutionaries that rose up for freedom became the spots, became the spots themselves. It's a common tale. Our social reform doesn't hurt anybody in the real world. It's a bloodless revolution. Accurate. Oh, 
All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video right here. Um, reaching, we're reaching that uh, time where I'm comfortable ending videos. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video right here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Pretty good episode. Not going to hold you. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. And with that being said, uh, I will catch all my fantasy for Padres in the next video. Peace out.